Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. I'm Evan from iSimple. Today we'll be looking at into the e-invoicing in Club Accounting AutoCount. Okay, in this video, I'll be showing you how to enable e-invoice setting, then update your company's profile for your company's team number. Then I'll also be showing you three methods for updating your customer's team details. Okay, firstly to manual key in, second to use the function batch get in, third you will be sending individual requests in to your customers. Then after that you will be updating your customers for their team number. Okay, after that we'll be also uh I'll also be showing you how to submit the standard e-invoicing and also the credit note and consolidate e-invoice, self-build e-invoice. Okay, so let's get into it. First of all, you'll be uh, in this uh, auto account, uh, cloud accounting's uh, main menu page. You have to find this uh, call wheel button. Okay, then under settings, then go under e invoicing. Okay, and then here you have to enable the e invoice and fill in for your e invoice start date. Okay, the fun uh, option to tick or untick for this allow consolidated e invoice. Okay, then you can set your, your grace period for your consolidate. Okay, after that, click save. Okay, okay, after you save your settings, you will uh, notice that in approval flow, you have these three documents that's automatically uh, ticked for the approval. Okay, after you've really enabled your invoice, next you have to go under company profile to set your company's team number. Okay, here you can edit your company information and add your company team number. Okay, if not, you can just click add new and key in your details. Okay, once everything is keyed in, click save and then select your team number. Okay, after that, you can fill in all of your, uh, your contact information. Okay, example, your email address and so on and so forth. Okay, and after that, I'll be showing you how to update your, your customer's team number. Okay. First method is to manually key in. So basically, you have to come over to this button right here, this nine box button. Okay, under here you will see tax entity. Okay, then here you have to either you can choose to manually key in, create new, key in your customer's information. Either it's a business classification or it's like an individual, you can key in accordingly. Okay, after you key ready, just click save. Then you have your uh team number here. Okay, other method is to uh, key in the import through Excel right here, import data. Okay, here you can download Excel for the template, then you can select the file to import. Okay, so in the the Excel, you'll be seeing something like this. Okay, okay, then you fill in the all of the information after you fill in ready. Okay, there's a guide here. Well, on the second tab, there's a guide for you to key in the sample data. Okay, and what is required and what is not required. Okay. After key in ready, you can come back over to your import text entity, select the folder, and open. And here you will see the data from your Excel import. Okay, after that, you just click import. Okay, all data imported successfully. Then you can refer back to the text entity here and see the testing data. This one. Okay, if not, you can choose to delete. Okay. Okay, next is to batch get tin. Okay, for the batch getting function, you basically have to come over to your customers under this button right here. Go to your customer. Okay, you will see under for this three line button right here, there's this function called batch request company text information. Okay, click that and you can select your customers. Okay, so basically for your customers, you must have an email address uh, when you are keying in. Example, company A. In general, you have to fill in for their email address. Okay, then after that, you can use this function right here, batch request comp company text information, and select the company that has the, the, the email address and click send request. Okay, this will send them to the email for, for their cost, uh, their team number request. Okay, after they, they've already filled in, you can come back over here, the three lines here, okay, and batch retrieve text information. Okay, and click this tool and just click retrieve information. Okay. Next is to send individual request link from your customer. Basically, if like for example, if customer see I did not fill in any emails and I want to uh, request a team number, I can click edit. For the team number right here, I can click add. Then you can see here, request confirm, com uh, company text information. Click it, and then you can click uh, generate request link. 
Yeah, here you can see the requested link. Just copy the link and you can go to your customer, either WhatsApp or email to paste it and send it to them. Like this, company C, their company name, and so they have to fill in for the information right here. Okay, one that's all filled. Okay, you can come back over to uh, request the retrieve the company tax information. Example for risk customer, edit, edit number, click add. And then after they've done updated ready, you can just click update from here. Okay. Okay, after that will be updating your customer's team number. Once you've already retrieved the team number, uh, you automatically uh, update the system or you can choose to update through the text entity here. Basically, you can just select the team number. For example, let's say uh, Evan, customer, click edit and just select the team number. Okay. Okay, so basically after you have updated your customers for the team number right now, you have to do your submitting standard invoice. Okay, so for submitting standard invoice, you can come to sales here under invoice, under invoice, you can create new. Okay, so basically you want to build the customer event sample for the invoice product, you select product. Okay, then so the classification, you have to select the item code or you can one, uh, do the one-time setting through the product right here. Let's copy this button, product right here, add it. Okay, make sure that under the invoicing tab, your classification is classified. Okay, so next time you do not have to key in in your sales invoice. Okay, create new. So the customer, so the product. Okay, once everything is correct. Okay, you can either choose to save or approve. If you click save, meaning your document will only be saved in your accounting, but will not be submitted for LHDN. Okay, whereas if you click approve, the document will straight submit to the uh, my tax. Okay, once I click approve and view it, you will see the status is submitted ready. Okay, I also can refresh again. So in a few seconds, the document will be submitted to your MyTax. You can view details here, copy the validation link. Okay, copy and paste. And when the customer scan the QR code, it will be something like this. Okay, so in their, in their My Invoice, in the document, you will see something like that this document right here, I03, the submitted value 100 okay okay same thing for your credit note under credit note right here so you can create new select a customer i said heaven i create a customer item same thing this one classification set the unit price okay click approve other documents right here. When I view it, it's validated. View, copy, and I paste. You can see the credit note submitted. Okay, I can come back to here to view my documents. I refresh. You can see the credit note document right here. Okay, the 100 amount. Okay, next, I'll be showing you how to uh, consolidate your e-invoice. Okay, as for your e-invoice, uh, consolidate e-invoice, basically, your, if your customer did not provide any uh, TIN number, let's say it's your cashless customers, create new right here, select your cashless customer where they did not provide any TIN number, okay, select your product, add the product, click approve, okay, then there will be a message prompt up, invoice is not submitted due to uh, missing tax entity information okay just ignore this okay this is uh, normal okay go under malaysia invoice here under the consolidated e invoice create new then you set the date range so basically we uh, before the seventh day in the next uh, month you must submit your uh, consolidated e invoice so basically i want to do for may i can do from 31st uh, of may to 31st of may click okay Okay, you guys, you can see the document right here. The consolidated invoice for 1st of May until 31st of May. And create. Yes. You can see already created. And also submitted. Refresh. 
then you can see the documents that's there's a compiled for this whole month so basically for the one the first document and also the fourth document that i just created one is cash another one is the other document okay after that you can see this is already validated view details copy here auto count of your business and also the generous public team okay and the total amount for the whole month okay lastly i will show you how to do self build e invoice in auto account cloud accounting okay first of all uh go under purchase right here you can do purchase invoice you can create new select your supplier let's say example autocon supplier okay let's select your product okay for this product i purchase 50 okay after that i click save okay after you already created your purchase invoice you have to come over to your Malaysia e-invoice right here self view document okay you can either create new or choose to copy from purchase invoice or payment voucher or journal entry okay so if you copy from purchase invoice you copy all of the details from the document right here this is the purchase invoice copy okay everything will be carried forward here so basically you don't have to key in everything again okay once you've already uh copied you can click either save or approve okay once you approve ready document will automatically be submitted and validated within a few seconds okay once you're ready validated you view details then you have your qr code right here once you scan ready you have this information right here and this is how you can do your sub e invoice in auto account cloud accounting okay so that's it for my video if you have any questions or any queries you can feel free to comment or message our support line okay thanks for watching Bye.